starting from a longer range, touch in, one, two, tap, go. If you're in too close, we can fire the knee, but we're gonna drift out for this kick, and then as soon as I've uh, got on the outside of their lead leg. Okay, next hand manipulation, I'm gonna use my, my rear hand. So again, starting from a longer range, touch in, touch in. On the third one, I'm gonna swap. As soon as I feel like my partner's reach, starting to reach out, I'm gonna tap and change stance at the same time as I throw this off pouring jab. As soon as it taps off the, the glove, I'm letting it go. So this one's not gonna be powerful at all. So it's one, two, tap, go. And then the next one will be a bit more power, drifting out slightly. So if you're in too close, we can fire the knee, but we're gonna drift out for this kick. And then as soon as I've uh, got on the outside of their lead leg, I'm disappearing. So I'm getting away from this person, measuring. It can even use a little push off to create the space here. Now the, the key points on this one are when you're changing stance like this, it needs to be really quick. So this tap, as soon as I've tapped here, the jab needs to come in real fast. Tap, tap, as it comes, boom, cross, kick, move off, move off. And then we've got this new angle to attack from there. So if we swap sides, tap, tap, So uh, we're trying to change hands with this one. Uh, if I'm always using this lead hand here, it gets a bit predictable. And then also because my partner is orthodox, here as soon as I've tapped and stepped, I've now got onto the outside. But this footwork here, as soon as it touches, thump, thump, needs to flow real fast. One more time. Tap, tap, hit, oh, oh. move up. 